Hello YouTube makeup lovers. So today I wanted to do a video on my foundation collection. I want to start to do some videos just where I can share items of my makeup collection without making it a super long makeup collection video. I have showed you a little bit of what I have in my makeup collection when I showed you guys my vanity organization I believe it was. But I don't really get that detailed into the actual makeup that I have. And then to go through everything, I mean, I can show you a drawer quickly and just kind of show you really quickly in and out what's in the drawer. But I'd rather kind of go into detail and maybe just do separate videos on that category. So today I wanted to start off with my foundation collection. All the foundations I own, I absolutely love. And I definitely use them for different things. Of course, like everything, there's some that I use more or less, some that I love more than the other, but pretty much these are all foundations that I currently wear and that I use up and that I definitely would repurchase right now at the moment, except for maybe one that I may not be repurchasing. I'll let you guys know when that one comes. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed this foundation collection video. Let me know what other collection videos you guys wanna see coming your way. It could be highlighters, bronzers do you want to see my palettes my lipsticks my lip glosses whatever you want i kind of wanted to do a video in all those different makeup categories just let me know which ones are the ones that you want to see first so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to show you the foundation that is in my collection i'll tell you a little bit about it i'll try to go quickly through them that's another reason why i think that these videos will be good because it's kind of like i'm going to do a bunch of mini reviews on all the products that i use all the time there are a few here that are a little bit newer than the others that I recently bought, but I have already been using them a couple times. I can tell you a little bit about how I feel about them. And then of course the ones that I've had forever, I can tell you all about them because I have used them for many, many years. So first I'm gonna start off with the two foundations that I have been using for a very, very long time. I would say that these two that I'm gonna mention now are the foundations that have been in my collection the longest that I continue to repurchase. So maybe these can be considered some holy grail foundations just because if you look at my previous videos of my foundations or even my favorite foundations in the past, a lot of those products I don't have anymore. I've kind of got rid of them, but for some reason these two, I keep on repurchasing and they're foundations that I think I will always have in my collection because they're so good. They're both from Makeup Forever. The very first one is the Makeup Forever HD. This is the high definition foundation. I use shade 118. Love it, love the packaging, has a palm, and it is an amazing foundation. It just looks flawless, it looks so natural. It's so easy to apply, like when in doubt, this is the foundation that I use. This is great if you're gonna do flash photography. This is definitely one that is used on a lot of brides just because they're gonna be taking a lot of pictures and you don't want that SPF to get in the way, so this one does not have SPF. But it's just a really good all-time favorite foundation and I totally recommend it. The other one is also from Makeup Forever and it's the Matte Velvet Plus. And in this one, I use shade 30. This one I love too. I feel like this one is, you know, the coverage is a little bit more than the HD one. I tend to like the HD coverage a little bit more just because it's a lot more natural. But this one, you can make it as natural as you want. So that's why I love it as well. It says Matte Velvet Plus, but don't let that scare you. It's not super mattifying or super drying or anything like that. It's oil free, love it. I love the packaging as well. It's like this and you kind of just like squeeze a product out. This is like the one foundation that I always take with me when I travel just because of the size. It never lets me down, I love the way it looks. It just lasts a long time. Again, a flawless, flawless foundation. But between the two, I usually tend to reach more for the HD one just because I like the more natural look. But this is just amazing and when I want to look really nice and cover any imperfection that I have, I usually grab the Matte Velvet Plus. Another foundation I absolutely love is the Urban Decay. This is the Naked Skin Foundation. I have two. I used to use the 4.0, but now I feel like it's a little bit dark and I recently bought the 3.0 and this one's been working very well. And I just really love this foundation. Again, it just goes on flawlessly. A lot of the things that I look for in a foundation, which is important for you guys to know, and all my foundations have that in common. I like something that maybe has some medium coverage. I want it to look flawless. I like it to do natural. I don't like to look cakey. I don't like to look 
all like done up like just way too much foundation I want it to look like my skin so that's kind of like what I look for in a foundation I do have some thicker ones which I will show you guys a little bit later but even if it's a thick foundation I apply it in a way where I don't make it thick because those thick foundations you can definitely thin them out make it a little bit more sheer depending on how you apply them you know all these foundations offer those characteristics that I love and that's what I look for in a foundation so the naked skin I really love this was my go-to foundation for a really long time now I'm loving the naked skin concealer it's just an amazing concealer and um, the foundation is really good too the only thing that I didn't like from this naked line was the setting powder I hated that one but the foundation and the concealer are really great products I have yet to try the powder foundation the next foundation that I have and that I have been loving this is more of my recent favorites this is the Dior skin start foundation I use shade 20 again I love the packaging it has a pump all my foundations have to have good packaging I need foundations that either have a pump or something like the matte velvet plus because if not I will not buy it so I'm super picky with that I don't care how great it is if the packaging especially is one of those that when you kind of like unscrew the top you just have like this big hole where all the foundation is just going to come out of I won't buy it I don't like those type of packaging but this star foundation is great it's flawless it's buildable you can use little by little and build it up nicely you can go light you can go medium usually I think this maybe goes more to medium I mean you can make it full coverage if you want I tend to not do that but I feel like this one works best as a medium coverage or even a light coverage if you apply it maybe with a dampened beauty blender you can definitely thin it out but it's a nice foundation this is one that I love to wear when I just want to look so flawless maybe when I get want to get a little bit more fancy this is definitely a foundation that I would wear Another foundation that I have from Dior Skin is the Nude Air. This is the Serum Foundation. I use shade 20 here as well. And this is actually fairly new in my collection. It has one of these thingies like this where you kind of squish it at the top and it like comes out. It's a very liquidy foundation. This is the most liquidy foundation that I have. The Urban Decay Foundation is, is pretty liquidy. But this Nude Air is definitely the most liquidy one that I have in the whole collection. It's supposed to be like a serum. It also has sunscreen. It has SPF 25. And I got it recently. I've already worn it a lot. And I like it. I feel like I feel very moisturized. Like I feel it on my face. And I feel that I'm wearing like a serum. It just feels that moisturizing. I don't know how this would feel on someone with oily skin. Let me know. My skin is more normal to dry. And this works really well. It looks flawless. I remember that I got, I even got like a compliment. They're like, wow, you look luminous today. What did you do to yourself? And I was like, really? And I was like, huh, maybe it's my Dior Skin Nude Air foundation that I'm trying today. But it just looked very brightening. It looked very beautiful. It just looked so flawless. That's what it was. It was just flawless. And then it just looked like you're glowing. And I really liked it because of the serum. And it, like I said, it felt very moisturizing. So I worry how it would feel on someone who has more oily skin because you can definitely feel the moisturization in your skin. But it's very liquidy. It's a very cool concept. Beautiful bottle. Definitely very fancy. My only con with this one was the Dior Skin, the 20 is the perfect color for me in the Dior Skin Star. But the Nude Air, the 20 is a lot darker than the 20 of the Dior Skin Star. But then when I went to the color below it, was a 10, it was like paper white. So I feel like my perfect color would be between the 10 and the 20. So it's not the perfect color for me, but I make it work. I blend it in and it blends in beautifully and then you don't even notice I can make it work. But don't guide yourself by the Star Foundation if you have it. If you want to try this one out, I would definitely recommend going out to try the color. Um, just because it's not the same color. The 20 in this foundation is not the same as the 20 in this foundation. It's what I got because it's the only thing that worked for me. But I kind of wish it would have had like another color in the middle. Another high-end foundation that I got recently that I have been loving also did a first impression, which I will also link down below, is the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua Foundation. This is an ultra light skin perfecting sunscreen makeup. It has SPF 15. This is a foundation I have been wearing almost every single day to work. It's definitely a foundation that I would like to wear during the day. I think this is a foundation that is great. 
for a daily foundation whereas maybe the Dior Skin Star I would use in the nighttime, the Makeup Forever ones I would use in the nighttime, or even the Urban Decay. And just this one is a great one for during the day. I even use it with my fingers, whereas I use most of my foundations with a foundation brush. And I like brushes like this. This is the Urban Decay. This is the optical blurring brush. I also love the ones from Sigma that are like the Kabuki brush with the kabuki brushes with the stick max fibers i love those i don't use a regular traditional old-fashioned foundation brush like that i like to use more brushes like this but this foundation i love to apply it with my fingers it's like perfect i apply some in the morning i just kind of rub it in my fingers and i put it all over my face it has a scent that i absolutely love i feel like i'm at a spa i love the scent i've had heard people complain about the scent with this foundation I don't it just I just love it so much I think that's why I love applying it so much just because it just smells so good by the way the nude air from Dior also smells really really great it's like those you know I apply it and I just enjoy it so much because it's like the aroma is just going into my nose and I'm just loving applying my makeup so this is also great packaging for travel I have an upcoming trip that I'm gonna go on and this is definitely the one that I'm gonna be taking on this trip. Another fancy foundation that I definitely use more in the nighttime because it is more of a thicker foundation. I like it, it's flawless, it's beautiful. I think I also have a first impression on this one too. It is the Marc Jacobs. This is the Genius Gel Foundation. This is a supercharged foundation. In this one I use 26, 26 bisque medium i didn't mention in the chanel vita lumiere i use where is this color oh it's not here oh here it is i use 20 beige in the chanel i forgot to mention that so in the mark jacobs i really love it again beautiful packaging this one is just a very fancy foundation beautiful in the nighttime you look flawless it's like when i want to get a little fancy this is i would say this is one of the ones that i have been using the least lately just because i have so many other ones that I have been using more and I do like the other ones more than this one but I still love it it's a luxurious foundation but I do feel that it's the one that I'm reaching for the least right about now so this next foundation is the Laura Mercier this is a cream smooth foundation and this is a foundation that I said at the beginning that I may or may not be repurchasing I really love this foundation um I like to use this more with a dampened beauty blender because it applies flawlessly it's very thick it's like a thick cream foundation i use a shame the shade of warm ivory i would not be using this in the summer this is something that i like to use in the winter when my skin is dry i remember when i bought this foundation i bought it because my skin was super super dry at that time and this just worked great it was amazing and i loved it i haven't felt like my skin has been like that again so i pretty much would buy it again if i ever get so dry again but my face is doing, like my skin has been doing really great and it doesn't get as dry anymore and it hasn't been getting dry for a really long time. But it is a really beautiful foundation and it's so thick and creamy that you can probably use a little bit and this will probably last you a really long time. So that's what I do now. I thin it out a lot. I use it with a dampened beauty blender and it just lasts a long time, but I really only wear it in the winter months. Another foundation that I have really been liking is the YSL. This is Le Tint Touche Eclat. I use shade 30, and this is what it looks like. Again, it has an amazing pump. Again, this is a foundation that I consider a fancy foundation. I have worn this during the day, and I wore it at night too, and it just applies flawlessly. I almost didn't want to buy it, because I hate the Touche, the Touche Eclat, the concealer. I absolutely hate it. It does not work for me at all. So when I saw that this also said Touche Eclat, I was like, I'm not gonna buy that foundation because I hate the concealer. But I read so many reviews about this one that it was great. And I even saw a video where someone actually said that they hated the concealer, but they loved this. So I was like, let me try it out. And it's really beautiful, again, flawless. It's buildable, it can go from light to maybe a medium coverage, and you can definitely layer it on if you wanna make it even more, you know, if you want more coverage, you can layer it on and it layers on very nicely. It doesn't look cakey, 
It also has SPF 19. It's just a very beautiful foundation. I also have the MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. I actually just used this today when I filmed this look. And I really love it. It's a really pretty foundation on the skin. It looks beautiful. It is thicker. I use NC25. I was in between NC25 and NC30, but I was told that this foundation oxidizes a lot and that it does get a little bit darker. So I went with the NC25. So if you're in between colors, I would definitely recommend going with the lighter color. This is a thicker foundation. It's waterproof. Not something that I would wear every day, but definitely something that I would like to use in the hot summer months where I think I'm going to be sweaty or maybe you have something where, I don't know, you may cry. Maybe you're going to a beautiful event and you're going to cry because it's so happy and beautiful that you don't want your makeup to smear, then this would be the foundation to use. But it's definitely not one that I would use every day, but I love having it in my collection for those occasions where it's going to come in nice and handy. I only have two drugstore foundations and one of them I love so much. It's at the top of my list of foundations. The very first one is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. I have two of these. I have N12, which is a shade called Soft Ivory, Classic Ivory. And then I also have Natural Buff, which is N3, just because I like to mix them up sometimes and use them. But this L'Oreal True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup is by far my favorite foundation from the drugstore. I even grab these more sometimes than my more expensive foundations that I just showed you because they're that good. It uses SPF 25 and again, it has those characteristics that I love. It's flawless. And this one does have that like glowy, dewy look, which I love about it. That's why it's the luminous one. Great for people with dry skin. And I just really like this one a lot. Again, the packaging also has a pump. The other drugstore foundation I have is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. And I use shade 115. This is buff beige. Love this foundation as well. I love the price, of course. Also, the packaging is great. Great for travel. And it's just easy. It looks like this. Again, it's a flawless foundation. I think I also did a first impression on this one. I'm going to link... Any first impressions I have done of these foundations, I will make sure to link it down below or any other foundation video that I think can be useful, I'll link it down below as well. But this is a really great foundation. It is oil free. I also wanted to include my CC cream in here because I consider that kind of like a foundation. To me, the best CC cream in the whole wide world is the original. It Cosmetics, your skin but better CC cream. This is a color correcting full coverage cream. It also has anti-aging hydrating benefits. It has SPF 50. I have two because I had the light, which is one that I've been using for a long time already. But I went out and got the fair because I was feeling that maybe the light was getting a little too dark and now I like to mix them up and it's perfect. This is a great foundation. And like I said, this is the original one. They came out with that illuminating one, which I absolutely hated. I bought it and I returned it. It's too shimmery. You look like you're glowing and you have all these like gold flecks on your face and I just hated it. But the original is my holy grail CC cream. It is the best. I buy this at Ulta, love the packaging. It has a pump and I just cannot live without it. It's great. This is what I usually use every single day since forever until I got this one. I've been using the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua one on a daily basis for when I go to work, but this is an amazing, amazing CC cream. It covers so well. I mean, I have tried foundations that don't cover as well as this CC cream. It's just amazing. And last but not least, I wanted to mention the two powder foundations that I own. The very first one is the It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination. I use the shade Light, and this is what it looks like. I also have the regular one, but I have it in my car. I have a little makeup bag in my car in case I need to bust out some makeup. And that's where I have the original one of these. And this is a good foundation. Um, the Illumination is not scary like the Illumination version of the CC cream. This one is not shimmery like that one. It actually just looks kind of like a glow and I really like it. It's really nice, but it's not something that I would repurchase again, nor this one, nor the original It Cosmetics um, Celebration Foundation. I probably wouldn't repurchase those because the next one I'm gonna show you is my all time favorite powder foundation that is the one that I love and it totally beats out these It Cosmetics ones, which are good too, but this Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundation is my all time favorite 
powder foundation. I know it's a fairly new product that came out not too long ago, but I love it. I was never into the Bare Minerals, um, the mineral powder foundations, and this one is just amazing. I use a shade light. There's also one that's a little bit darker than this one that I can also pull off. I ran out of it and I ended up buying a lighter shade, and I love it. I love the scent. It smells like cocoa powder and it's just amazing like cocoa and it's just amazing it also has a little you know a little sponge on the bottom which i never use i usually just apply it with a brush like this this is a powder brush from sigma the f20 but i just love it i just love the way it feels i love applying it i love the way it smells it's a light coverage if you apply it on its own it's not like the same coverage you're gonna get from a regular foundation but a lot of the times when I use my It Cosmetics CC Cream, I set with the powder foundation and the coverage is just so flawless. Or on those days that I just really don't have time to do anything to my face, I'll just put this um, on my face with a brush under no foundation, just on my bare skin. And it covers a lot more than just using a regular powder. So this is just an amazing powder foundation. I love it. And that is why I will not be repurchasing the It Cosmetics ones anymore after I use them up because this is what I definitely would go for. So that is pretty much it. This was my foundation collection. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that you try out some of my favorite foundations. And as always, I want to say thank you so much for watching Be Lounge Makeup. Bye!